In the sport of combat robotics, damage is unavoidable. Things are going to bend and things are going to break. But can we design things so that they break in a way that doesn't hinder our bot's performance during a match? That brings us to today's topic. I'm going to be going over the idea or philosophy of designing something for failure, designing something so that when it breaks, it doesn't affect the bot's function. Now, I will say that there is a lot of things that you cannot account for in your design. If your battery just explodes or say your blade bends from a massive hit, that is really something that you can't have much control over. However, with that said, there are a lot of cases where careful design choices can be the difference between winning and losing a fight. So without further ado, let's get into those cases now. So let's begin to talk about this idea. How do you design something for failure? First, we need to pay attention to our material choices, and particularly, we need to understand how the material is going to fail. What I mean by this is something like aluminum or steel is going to bend or crack when hit, where UHMW or TPU is going to get cut or have chunks removed out of it. Now that we understand how certain things are going to fail, we can apply this to our bots. A great example for this is top plates. Ideally, if our top plate gets hit, we would either want it to take no damage, obviously, or if it does get hit, we would want the material being hit to just kind of disintegrate away versus, say, bending out of the robot and high centering the bot. This idea doesn't just apply to materials, though. There's also a lot of careful geometry choices you can make to kind of control what's getting hit versus what's not getting hit. A great example of this would be insetting the top plate into your frame. Instead of the top plate being hit on a hit, the frame or the armor would be struck instead. This next case kind of combines material knowledge with geometry. In this fight, Red Panda has a non-ideal fork failure where their fork gets stuck up in the air. This greatly reduces the ground game effectiveness. In this fight, Leviathan has a fork directly struck, but instead of the fork getting stuck up in the air and impeding the ground game, it completely flies off. A lot of experienced builders will design their forks to fail in a way similar to Leviathan. Generally, you want the forks to fly off rather than stay in a bent or upright position impeding the weapon or hurting the ground game. Some builders will also use a material like TPU that when it's hit, it will return to its original shape. The last thing that I will mention is redundancy. Sometimes it makes sense to have an extra belt on a weapon in case one breaks, an extra motor for said weapon, or something like an extra receiver for the robot in case one fails. So that's actually going to do it for this video. I could dive a little deeper into more examples, but I really just wanted to get the idea of designing for failure out there. It's a great kind of thing to think about when you're designing a bot, and a thing that I think a lot of new builders don't really think about. Let me know what you guys thought of this video format. Maybe there's not enough information here, maybe I should make it longer in the future. Just let me know. If there's any other topics that you guys would like me to cover, do leave a comment, and uh, I'll see what I can do to make that happen. Anyways, my name is Anthony. I really hope you enjoyed. Take care.